climate change means an increased prevalence of heart diseases, it means an increased prevalence of lung conditions, it also means much greater challenges for mental health. The thing about climate change, it's uh, kind of dis discriminatory. It is not affecting everybody the same way. We have seen that 80% of the pollution are actually coming from 20 countries only. In my research, I study the growth of children. When the mom is exposed to uh, air pollution, this disrupts the baby's development in a way that the baby is often born smaller and sometimes prematurely. As children grow, because they breathe at a faster rate, they're more exposed to air pollutants. The increased exposure to air pollutants uh, mean that they have a higher risk of lung conditions. Air pollution also means that children cannot spend as much time outside playing, engaging in physical activities, and this is a huge problem considering the obesity epidemic that children of today's world are faced with. My recent climate change publication examined uh, how resilient uh, the country would be against uh, climate change effects. The result has shown that countries that uh, spend more uh, on research and development and actually have uh, the knowledge and capitalize on that knowledge are more likely to uh, combat and be more resilient towards climate change. Countries who are rich in R&D spending still cannot flourish alone or cannot mitigate the, you know, the, the pollution or the climate change negative effect if they don't work with you know, much more uh, poorer countries who do not have such know-how. AUC's role is very tremendous and powerful. We have tools in place that actually uh, empower us to do you know, uh, worldwide uh, top-tier research that is being published in top-tier journals. At the Institute of Global Health and Human Ecology here at AUC, with my team members of physicians, chemists, biologists, experts in biomedical uh, sciences, I really get to tackle these very complex multifactorial research questions associated to obesity and climate change in a way that's very effective because I truly believe that we can only do that kind of work in, in, in teams of multidisciplinary backgrounds. Having everyone taking climate change action seriously, this is the only way that it's going to happen. We are responsible for our kids. They keep asking, will we have cleaner air? Will we have cleaner water to drink? By only by taking this action today, then we can guarantee that they will have that in the future.